Federal, state, and local health officials, including those of the Red Cross, have gathered here at McIntosh, Alabama, to fight what is now described as an epidemic of meningococcal meningitis. Here at the McIntosh Town Hall, the battle plans have been drawn up to rid this part of Washington County of the disease, which has so far claimed nine lives in the past year, three of them in December, and most of the fatalities children. Volunteers, including students from the University of South Alabama Medical School, will be distributing sulfadiazine tablets to 500 families or about 2,000 people in the area during the next three days. We've divided these up into 16 teams. Uh, each team will consist of one health department worker, two medical students where possible, if not one, and one member from the local community. There is a defined geographical area in the area around McIntosh. And we're going house to house within this area and distributing medication to everyone that lives within the boundary. The purpose of the campaign is to eradicate carriers of the disease, as those people who carry the germ in their throat but are not actually ill. It's important that everybody in the community takes the medication within the same period of time so that we can get all of the carriers at one time. Those who wish to take part in the program and haven't already received their free tablets have until 4 o'clock Friday afternoon to get the necessary medicine for their families. Health officials are hopeful that with this intense campaign that residents of the affected area will be totally protected against this meningococcal meningitis. This is Bill Spencer at McIntosh, Alabama for Channel 10 Newsbeat.